you doing, Chief Frazier? Uh, we're just been working on this project, uh, Blue Saturn, uh, getting prepared for this weekend. Uh, we uh, geared up and ready to pass out some gifts and some toys to the children here in the community. Uh, we did have to make some changes to the scheduling for the event. It was initially scheduled uh, for the for the 18th. Uh, however, uh, just due to the, the recent uh, uptick in COVID-19 cases, uh, we decided to make some last minute changes and shift the event uh, from an inside event to an outside event. And so we're, here we are, we're gonna be consolidating our efforts uh, with some other uh, organizations here in the city of Tuskegee uh, to make sure that everyone will have an opportunity to come out and enjoy the festivities. Uh, we, we plan on uh, setting up Saturday uh, the event starts at 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Uh, at the town square. And uh, there's going to be a lot of different festivities set up for the children here in the community. And they'll be able to come out and be able to get in the, and walk away with a toy uh, if they come out and join us. Assistant Chief, you're going to make some happy campers out there? Yeah, we're going to try our best to make some happy people out there. This is the, the first year that, well, it's not the first year. Last year we gave our bikes. But this year we actually did a, a tour drive, it was a short one, but we were able to get a lot of gifts and donations from a lot of partners in the city of Tuskegee and outside Montgomery and Auburn. So we were able to get a lot of gifts and I think it's gonna make some people happy. Chief, why do you do stuff like this? Uh, it, it's just about just building a relationship and maintaining a healthy relationship with the community. And then, like I said before, uh, I love Christmas. Uh, we, we just enjoy being out here and sharing uh, with one another and spreading the joy. Uh, it just warms my heart to be able to uh, make a difference in somebody's life. And that's just you know, putting a smile on someone's face and letting them know that law enforcement is here to help. That's what we're here for, to serve the community and share in these times of joy uh, with our community. Uh, I, I do want to take a moment to point out the fact that uh, this sleigh was hand built uh, by a member of the community, uh, Mr. Hanna. Mr. Hanna, yeah, mm -hmm. Southern Vocation. He used to be a professor over there. Yeah, uh, he's done a great job on building it. And then we had our staff members here at the police department to dress it up a little bit with these uh, paint and these these uh, these gifts and ribbons and and, it's, and these lights uh, that are installed here. Uh, the guys has been doing an outstanding job. They did it on their own time. Uh, because they just believe in what we're doing and just trying to connect and like I said, just share the joy uh, with our community. And every little bit of joy this day and time is beneficial, isn't it, Chief? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And uh, like I said, once again, I want to encourage anyone who has the time who's able to come out uh, this Saturday at the town square, uh, right there in front of the courthouse, we're going to be out there uh, Saturday uh, from 4 o'clock p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Come on out and just enjoy the festivities. We're going to be out there having a good time, so I expect to see all you come out there now. Now, Assistant Chief, what do you need from the people now? It's a couple of days here before Saturday. Yeah. What can people do to help you to make some young people happy? Yeah, it's, we, even though it's still short notice in a couple of days, we're just asking that if you're out and you want to give a donation, for purchasing a tour, just drop it off at the police department and we can put it where we already have and that way we can give it out. Uh, I just want to make sure I thank some of the partners in the community that help us get that help us got this together. Um, the wood for the, the slate came from uh, the Russell Dewitt Center. Uh, was it Russell? Yes, the, the Dewitt Russell Dewitt Center. Center. Yes. Um, it, it's so many to name that we're not going to try to name them all now, but what we will do, we're going to do like we always do it and we're going to post a list of everybody who contributed, who made notable donations, and let them know that we really appreciate their assistance, especially in these types of efforts. Uh, I tell you, it just warms my heart beyond joy. Uh, we love this time of year. Uh, we love what we do and just working here with the community. And uh, we want everybody to understand that your contact with law enforcement shouldn't be limited to just uh, negative encounters. It's about these positive and love and joy-filled encounters these are the types of encounters that we look forward to having uh, with here with the people here in Tuskegee. And like I said, once again, uh, we love you all. Thank you for everything that you've done to help support us throughout this year. And have a Merry Christmas. What do you say to the children of this community, uh, Chief? Well, 
it's very simple. We love you, and we we looking forward to you all growing up and becoming the future members of this department. Um, we're, like you said, we were currently accepting applications for our Citizens Police Academy, but this summer we're hoping to get this Junior Police Academy off the ground and going, and I'm expecting each one of you out there, yes, I'm talking to you, each, each and every one of you out there, I'm expecting you all to get signed up and come join us in this Junior Police Academy this summer. Now you in here packing up gifts, man, and you're supposed to be out there arresting people. What, what is this about? Well, this is just some downtime, trying to get it get it together. Um, I've been working on paperwork, getting ready for our grand jury coming up in January. So I got to get back in there and do that in a few minutes. Came out here and just set it up. How does it make you feel, man, to do stuff like this to help to benefit our community that has nothing to do with somebody going to jail or being charged with something? I think being able to do this is show the flexibility that Although we enforce the law, but we also build relationship with the community. And this has been an event for the kids, and I'm, I'm number one for our youth. So anything I can do to make a difference in the mindset of our young people, to let them know that we care as well, I'm willing to do it. A team of people as qualified and, and as, as gifted as the guys we and ladies we have here on our team, I'm just so proud of them. And I tell you, th th these types of events and uh, initiatives, when I see them, they get out here and they put forth the effort and the time that they sacrifice in making sure things get done and get done right. It makes me proud to say that I'm, I'm the chief here. And I just tell you, I just love being here uh, in, in, in Tuskegee. Now is the, it's the best time to be a member of the city of Tuskegee. And these guys go far beyond the call of duty just about every day, don't they, chief? Absolutely. Uh, like I said, the job goes, it, it, it's way more than just a job. They give their all and they commit 110% in everything that they do. And I, I tell you, it, it just makes me, like I said before, uh, I'm beyond proud of the effort and the quality of, of, of officers and other personnel that we have here at our department. And I believe you need some more officers, so what do you say about those guys out there who could qualify to come on in here and help? We definitely need some more bodies, uh, but not just bodies. We want folk that, that have to share the, the, the same uh, ideas and, uh, and, and mentality that, they've gone, that, that the team members that we have now share. Someone who loves this community, somebody who believes in what they're doing and going to have some integrity in when they carry out this job. We need at least six officers right now. So if you're thinking about it, come on in and put an application in. You can go online to TuskegeeAlabama.gov or you can go to this municipal complex and you can fill out a written application. But we definitely need some more team members and we're looking forward to you coming out and joining us.